Hello and welcome back to Tingle 5 and here's another video I expected to release in early February, late January. The Raspberry Pi version 2. The Pi 2. It's finally here. Well it's been here a few months now but I recorded this way back in January so it intended to go out at that point. But the Raspberry Pi 2 is exactly the same as the B Plus form factor wise but it's a lot more powerful. Now the Pi V2 boasts that it's six times as powerful as the Raspberry Pi was. It has twice the amount of RAM and instead of the single core Broadcom uh, ARM V6 processor this has an ARM V7 processor running 300 megahertz faster so you get four cores running faster. And form factor wise as I said it's exactly the same as the B plus. The GPIO is the same, the display is the same, power you can have a little bit more HDMI, same place, audio, USB, network, it's all the same. There's a little bit of a difference underneath, so this chip doesn't exist on the B+, but it does exist on the Pi V2. And the micro SD is of course the same. Now all this means you can still use the B+, cases for the Raspberry Pi 2. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I bought this case uh, for the B+, and I'm fitting my Pi 2 into it just to make sure that it fits. And this case is actually very special in the fact that it leaves the GPIO ports completely exposed, so you can still use them. And like the Pies before, you could still fit your custom heat sinks to them. So there's plenty of websites that sell these little heat sinks, and they're ripping you off most of the time. But they're nice little heat sinks that'll fit your Raspberry Pi. And here's all the generations from right to left: is the B, the B Plus, and the Pi 2. You can see there's a difference between the B and the B Plus. But between the B Plus and the Pi 2, there is virtually no difference. There's a little bit more going on on the Pi 2, but nothing that really affects anything. And the GPIO header, as I say, is still the same. It just gets bigger from the B to the B Plus. And everything else is still in the same place, which is really good. And it's really good of uh, Element 14 to do this. However, we do come to the contentious piece of from my phone camera, unfortunately, because I didn't have flash and anything else. Your camera flash will turn the Raspberry Pi off. So what I did there is just simply take a picture of my desk with the Raspberry Pi 2 on it and it completely killed the Raspberry Pi. You can obviously turn it back on but the red light's on, it's off. But you do get nice pictures of the Raspberry Pi such as these. Now the Pi 2 is great, one of my big issues with the Raspberry Pi was that it wasn't very powerful so I couldn't run a lot of things on it. But it already seems that the Raspberry Pi 2 is going to get better support with Windows 10 version announced for the Raspberry Pi. It's not the complete Windows 10, I imagine it will be something scaled back. But in terms of other Raspberry Pi projects, let me know in the comments section what your favourites are, and maybe we can go through some of them in some videos. Thanks for watching everyone.